Hey, welcome back to the workshop. Um, so I'm starting to dive into the driver's side power seat. The Wildcat has a four-way power seat on the driver's side in the front and a manual one on the passenger side. And it's getting power, but it's not moving the seat. Uh, part of it, I think, is the seat rails are just rusty and dry. So they're soaking in a, a de-rusting solution right now. Um, the motor spins and I can hear, so this is the transmission. It's really fascinating how this thing works. Um, so I'll have to show it when it's all put back together, but basically you got a little belt driven transmission that lives under the seat, right? And there's a relay and here's the switch. Right, so you got forward and backward to move the seat closer and further from the steering wheel and you got up and down. And what the switch does is it does two things. Obviously it sends power to the motor. So the motor starts spinning, right? And this little belt drives this transmission. And depending on which way you're pushing, if you're going forward, forward, backwards, or up and down, uh, this has two solenoids in it. And it sends power to the solenoids and it engages a gear in here that drives one of these flexible shafts that in turn connects to the, the seat and it runs the, the worm gear on the track. Um, so it like seems pretty stuck together. So I, I opened it up. It's a pretty neat design, right? Um, so it's just like a solenoid here. So when you apply power to it, it slides up and engages the gear, right? So the gear is now driving the shaft. Same thing on this side. This one just pulled out the other way, but same thing, right? This pinion runs the gears. And whichever one's engaged drives, where's the little output? I think these are the output shafts runs the output shafts that runs those, the cables. And uh, I think everything works. It's just the grease is all dried, so it, it's sticky, right? Like it was stuck on the shaft. And after I've worked it a little bit, it, it seems like it's moving around. So all I'm going to do is clean this up, give it a little light coat of grease, and it should be good to go. Uh, maybe clean up the motor case. I don't think the motor needs anything. Um, but I'll test it out and uh, I'll give a little more detail of, what, of when it's done. But yeah, it's, uh, it's looking good. I'm glad I don't need to get a new one of these. All right, more to come.